Hello, Internet. I'm Juicebox, and this is Pools. A game about pools, as far as I can tell. Um, so, it looks like I came from that hole. And now we gotta go find a place to go. And so we got WAS controls, kind of slow movement. Obviously, the game about pools means we don't go towards the pool. Can I sit? I can sit. And then that points us towards this scary looking ladder. Not ladder, staircase down. Let me refresh this real quick. Is that working now? It's working now. Okay. I was trying to uh, monitor my stream on this other computer right here, but it wasn't cooperating, which wasn't. But there we go. Now I got a monitor. Uh, hi, Bopter. Welcome to the stream. We're just uh, playing a game called Pools. There's a pool over there, and uh, we're going to avoid it. That seems like the smart move. It's like that's what they want you to do, right? Go into the pool. Okay. Well, never mind. Just pool or be pooled. Can I jump? Space doesn't do anything. Yes. Yes, see, this is why I'm playing this game. Because I have recurring nightmares like this. Where it's just a large collection of interconnected pools and sometimes there are these dark hallways where one pool connects to another and I figure if someone went ahead and made a game that they plucked out of my brain then I better play it. How am I? I'm pretty good. Let's see we can go back up here. These are just windows, right? Not doors. Yeah. Oh, that's a neat effect. The the character, his eyes readjust to changes, changes in light. You have nightmares like this. Yeah, pretty much. Trapped underground in a large tile-in environment. Where there's just a bunch of nonsensical pools that connect each other, and you get lost. And then, like, in my dreams, they change how they connect to each other if you go from one and try to go back to another one. So I'm pretty sure this game's not going to do that. Right now we're just looking for, like, hidden doors. Or we'll just go into the darkness. I thought everyone had dreams about getting trapped in mazes. It's just mine in particular involve... Pools. Some kind of vent? Oh, here we go. Some some tile art. Oh. Oh, this is like a map, isn't it? So if I want to get out, I need to find that hole up there. But I've not been paying enough attention to guess. Wait, yes I have. No, 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 that doesn't make sense. Well, you know what? We're going to take this as indication that there is a way out. We just got to find it. Slightly ominous.
Can I just walk off the edge? I can. Oh, this one's kind of deep. I hope I'm not stuck in here. I guess the worst that could happen is I have to swim back to the stairs. Yeah, it looks like we're swimming back to the stairs. Ruben's laptop is loading. Are they making you watch commercials too? So one of the first things I got to see this morning was that three big uh, Vocaloid producers put out songs, like, within the same hour. And as far as I can tell, these songs are not connected in any way. Partially because the songs are all very, very different from each other. Can I climb that ladder? I need to find if I can climb that ladder. We got a new Pinocchio P song, and a new Mitchy M song, and a new Deco 27 P song, and the Pinocchio P song is the only one I plan to listen to again. Probably, because it's about how the world sucks, and living your fake little life sucks, and unlike other Japanese artists, when Pinocchio P writes songs about how life sucks, he doesn't end the song with like, hey, but you know what, it, it's gonna get better, or hey, I'm gonna keep trying hard. We're back where I started. No, his songs just end. Something popped up, and it's troubling, Reuben. No slipping. Slipping will be punished. Ah, oh, we can sprint. If I press shift, we sprint. Well, Ruben, since you weren't here, I'm pretty sure this is a map of the way out. But I can't really put a pin on where any of these things are. Or if, like, some of these things represent walls, and other things represent pools? I don't know. But I guess we didn't go this way. So let's try seeing what's over in this corner. More stairs upwards. And another dark hallway. With a pool that's got a slide. Guess we're going to try to find the slide. What is this symbol supposed to be? Ruby doesn't think that could be a map. What do you think it is? Oh, hang on. The chair is facing this direction. Right, so we sit in the chair, take a breath, notice that the ceiling in this particular room is a little bit moldy. Maybe we shouldn't sit here too long. That are all always and you are in a lot of rooms. Can I take the chair? I don't think so. I think so far the only things I can do are sprint and move. I can walk side to side. I can walk backwards. Space doesn't do anything. Q and E don't do anything. Escape brings up our pause menu. I haven't tried clicking on things yet. It's 
probably something someone insane drew. Uh, okay, okay, let's just go in the scary darkness. I'm not sure if it's reflections or if the ceiling is dripping here. I think we found a slide. No, no, this is not a slide. This is a dark tunnel. Do not go into dark tunnels like this in real life. Have I tried pushing all the buttons without a strategy? Nope. Oh, oh, whoop, uh, 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 don't, don't like that noise. I'm getting out of the water. Uh, <laughs> not afraid of the dark is the achievement we just got. I guess because the game can't hear me moaning. Myself. If I try pushing all my buttons on a strategy, what's the P button for pool? No, it doesn't do anything. What if I type pool? No. You died. Maybe. I mean, the thing is, I could be already dead, and that's what this whole thing is. It's just my version of purgatory. Not heaven, not hell. Just kind of vaguely disturbing for all eternity. Or until a god or gods figure I've had enough and I can try again. Very much not the Japanese idea of purgatory, because purgatory in Japanese is Dengoku, which is like the flame prison. And this ain't on fire. We'll be brave. We'll go into the darkness. This is a wall. Is there anything in this room? Yes, there's a pool in this room. What did I expect? I'm pretty sure I've been to this pool room before. That's just a dead end? No. No, that's a dead end. Yeah, 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 we've been here, because if I turn here, there's the map. And if I go up those stairs, I get back where I started. Something about going up here makes me feel like I'm more likely to get out. Let's try to keep in mind where that pool slide is, and maybe we can get to it. If we can go down the slide, maybe we can be released from this. Except the slide would not be down. Our only choice here is to go down. Ribbon's laptop is a longer delay than this tablet. I don't know what causes delays. Um, okay, so it went that way that last time. Let's try going up. Maybe we can get to the slide. Maybe the slide is this way. Or just, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, no, mm, no, well, I think I see what the game wants me to do. <sighs> Yay, we combine my nightmare of a interlocking, la or a labyrinth of interlocking pools with my other greatest fear, heights and falling. Let's do it.
And the game says no. <laughs> You're not supposed to jump into the pit, stupid. Oh, ho, 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 but we found a slide that we can't get into. Maybe this is the way to get into the slide. New area, yes, this is new. We haven't been in this corner yet. If I go into this darkness, what happens? There's like a grate. No, no, it's not a grate, it's just a wall. Well, it sounds like I'm still moving. But I'm not. Yeah, it's definitely dripping. Definitely water dripping from the ceiling here. Rube is gonna crash his laptop real quick. By opening tabs, he's not used his laptop in five days. Why not just turn it off and turn it back on again? So this clock is like 50, mm, 50 minutes behind. Wrong button. Get out of the chair by walking forward, not by escaping it. Hmm, don't like that noise. I think that spiral staircase is kind of cool. Okay, this is back out to the suicide hole. Is there anything in this corner? Because this kind of corner right here is definitely something my brain would cook up. To give me a bad night's sleep. So I've got a ladder. Or we go down into this water. Okay, this is back to the room with a spiral, right? Yeah, spiral. I can see my footprints, kind of, but I can't see my feet. It's a duck! Finally, someone to talk to. That's kind of a messed up looking ducky. That duck does not look right. Its eyes are bulging out. Well, I guess we're going into another dark, spooky tunnel. Just look forward, just look forward, don't think about what might be beside you, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Hey, we found the spiral staircase! Well, actually this is a different spiral staircase, isn't it? So the spiral staircase we saw earlier was surrounded by, like, a pit underwater. And this one is not. This is just kind of uncomfortable. But maybe Spiral Staircase takes us out of here. Uh, 
uh, mind the gap, I guess. Ooh, red. So we can take these stairs down, or, obviously, we're not going to take the stairs down. Not when there's a water slide. I can't really control the camera while I'm sliding. Oof, but we did go underwater, just for a second. Now I got her hair wet. It's kind of a cool effect, the way the red plastic reflects off the tiles. Anything underneath these stairs? Nope. Okay, well that was a weird little area. This seems to be somewhere we gotta take the water to get to the next room. Kinda deep. You kind of expect to see pennies or something on the bottom here. Okay. Deep breath. No jump scares, probably. Oh god. This is... Is this place fairly symmetrical? No. Just heard a hissing noise. I got something else down here with me. Yeah, this is a this is a good place to get lost. Run out of energy. Hey, it's an exit. Somewhere! Are those? Oh my god! Oh, what? Fine. 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 Maybe. Okay, well, we're not going that way. Oh, and now we can see the exit sign. Don't look back, don't look back, don't look back, don't look back. More giant pits. Two chairs. Ha ha, two chair. How do I get down from here? There we go, there's stairs. Stairs are over here. I guess we gotta go sit in one of those chairs though, just to test them out. Maybe get us a Chivo. Maybe it's a video game and so I can just bring myself to look into this pit. Oh, here's another pit. With no reasonable purpose for existing. Right, so, chairs.
little break is done. Let's get out of here. I hope. The exit being downwards is not, not encouraging. I don't see any pools though. Oh, what is this? What is happening? Fantastic. Maybe, maybe they'll let me jump off of this diving board. Okay, well, we're, um, dead, maybe? Deader? Not sure. Let's keep going with, uh, chapter two. Ugh, not a great start. So we're at the bottom of that pillar, I guess. And I can't see anything. So for the sake uh, uh, of the stream, bomb, bomb, we need to find somewhere where there's light. Alright, so we got a slightly different motif this time in our pool. Got these little nice blue tiles on the sides. Let's try to go down that slide. Oh, why has it gotta be dark? So this pool is like a slightly deeper, and then a slightly deeper, and then a slightly deeper, and then this is a hole? Maybe the slide's this way. This doesn't look like it's taking us to the slide. Nothing in there. So, either way. Uh, sure. Sure, let's go down to the dark water. We go backwards, we can see if we're making progress, right? As the light gets farther and farther away. It just makes me think of when I was a kid, and sometimes we'd be lucky when we got a hotel room, when we go on vacation, and like, the hotel would be affiliated with other hotels, which would mean you could swim in the other hotel's pools too. And so we get to see all kinds of weird pool configurations. Indoor pools, outdoor pools, lazy rivers. I think like a lazy river for a hotel. So it's just like a loop. But that's fine. Just looping around in a pool. Pretty good. I didn't notice that ladder before. We could get into this water, we could climb that ladder, maybe get out of here. 
but I don't think that's happening. I don't seem to be any doors in down there. So let's go into the light. Let's have a little bit of levity. That's not the dark spooky pools. Can you guys hear this buzzing noise? I'm pretty sure that implies that the big sunroof looking thing there is actually a uh, fluorescent lamp. A very big fluorescent lamp. So we got the triangle door, and we got the circle door, and we got the spooky train door. I'm going train. I'm regretting this decision. Just jump off. Okay, light? Lightness? Non-spooky? Another big old spiral slide over here? I'm gonna guess we're not allowed to go into that one. It seems to go down into a, uh, abyss. On the other hand, getting to the abyss, Discord has 16 updates. Discord updates, like, every single day. Ooh, hey, wait. There's a spiral staircase here. means maybe I can just jump on in. Oh! <laughs> can my character not swim? Yeah, it looks like he can't swim. So, that's a little bit more of a nightmare. So, did the updates help with your stream delay at all, Ruben? I don't think they should, but there's always a possibility. That's interesting. So the cross slide is somewhere near the double spiral, double helix slide. So we got a cross slide, we got a double helix slide. We got more darkness. That looks like an actual sewer. It did not help. Oh well. Good, 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 good. doesn't make any sense. None of this makes sense. Why should I think, like, even bother saying this doesn't make sense? This whole situation doesn't make sense. Oh, this place is even brighter. It's like either they bleach the tiles more or ooh. Nice little underwater lights. Maybe the lights are just brighter in here. <sighs> that looks like where I'd want to go if I want to discover something. Can I go in here? I go in the water and look in there. I'm 
trying different mouse buttons. Just found out that the arrow keys also work to make me move. All right, I don't think I, I don't think I can go in this hole. So we're gonna go over here where it looks like there's another slide. Come on, eyes, adjust. Okay, there's another slide, but it's like connected from somewhere else. Also, I don't think I'd want to come out of that slide. You kind of go directly into a wall. They won't let me go up the slide. Cowards. Okay, here's that nice bright but not super bright room again, right? No, no. I don't think I've been in this one. The fact that the water never stops moving makes it so you can never really feel like you're totally alone in a place like this. There's always something moving. And always sound. And then that was just a straight up cheapo carnival air jet jump scare. Like you get in the really bad haunted houses that aren't even a haunted house, just like like you sit in a little cart and you do a little loop around a track and everything's a facade and it's all cardboard. I may have already been here. I feel like I've been down a... No, no, no. The, the, the ladder I went down last time, like this, it was way darker. There's... I just got jump scared by rubber duckies. You can't even see the rubber duckies probably on the stream. I thought, what's floating in that water there? Is it a body? No, it's a big rubber ducky. Well, a pile of them, but still. What is that? It's a swing. I don't know if you guys can see that too well on stream. Probably not. But... It's like a shiny metal rod with a swing attached in the middle of it. Okay, well, a place like this was how we got out last time, in Chapter 1, so this is just a spookier version of Chapter 1. Maybe Chapter 3 will give us something slightly less spooky, more just unnerving for how much it doesn't make any sense, and less dark. I didn't need the darkness on top of just not being able to move because of the water. And I'm disoriented. I'm just gonna follow the lights like they tell you not to. Oh, art. It's an art, all right. 
It's not anatomically correct as far as I can tell. It's probably for the best. Ooh. If this were in real life and a little better lit, I would think this is very cool. But it's neither of those things, and I'm uncomfortable. But we press on. Am I on, like, a mirror? Something's gonna jump at me. At some point, something's gotta jump out at me. Yeah, this is definitely a mirror. We cannot climb the ladders faster. Oh, hey, that looks promising. Since when is promising good, though, in this game? This is where I came in, isn't it? No. I don't recognize that staircase. Well, three, two, one, here we go. Didn't break our legs. That's good. Yes, I can definitely smell, like, 90s hotel architecture here. It does have a smell, by the way. Well, don't know what that was. I'm a little sad at the moment, because I was trying to, uh, wheedle another VTuber into playing, uh, content warning with me, and I got beaten to the gun, and one of her friends, her actual friends, got her to play content warning this morning. Jellyfish? No, chairs! Anyway, any of y'all want to play content warning with me? Oh, this is nice, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm liking this music. It wasn't until I was like a teenager that I realized, hey, you know what you can do at the pool? You can throw the chairs in the water and sit in the chairs in the water. No one's going to get mad at you. And plastic chairs don't float, but they're also light enough that you can get them out of the water when you're done. So yeah, it's just, it's nice to sit in the water sometimes. I'm unfortunate in that my friends who are rich are not the ones who like pools. And my friend who likes pools... Oh. She just got gets the, uh... The kind of expensive, big inflatable, like, soft shell pools that are supposed to be permanent, but she treats them as disposable. <laughs> These are the timeout chairs. I have a friend with money? Man, all my friends have more money than me. Most of my friends are pretty well to do. Because they didn't screw up as adults. Well, that was actually kind of a nice pool. Yeah, I'm the, uh, I'm the poor nerd of the group. The person who's down to play video games, but is never going to be able to afford to go on vacation with you. Hey, more art. 
And this one's got chairs. And it looks like he's being fried by the sun. Are those cat ears? I, yeah, this guy's got cat ears. Cat boy. <laughs> At least one cat here. Or his head's just a triangle. Not sure. It's very smooth looking marble. Like those big spheres that sit on top of a fountain. You ever seen those? Where it's just like there's a big old spherical rock in the middle of a round fountain and you can kind of roll it around. <laughs> Those don't seem to be good noises. Should probably move along here. No. Stop. Stop it. No. Get get up. Get up. We're going. Hmm. They switched from the blue tiles to this brown kind of granite. It's not really granite. Like basalt? No, basalt's blacker. Ruben's not paying attention. There's really no need to pay attention. There's no plot here as far as I can tell. The most a thing that has happened so far... Okay, this has got to lead to the top of the slide. The most, like, a thing that happened so far was I found a ladder down underwater, and like some hands reached up from it. This is actually a cool setup for a water slide. Though you know if it was an actual hotel, people would be like jumping up and slapping the side of it. I've been bamboozled, haven't I? They're not going to let me on the water slide, are they? infrastructure. Also, oh boy, that's safe. Yes! Yes, they're gonna let me get in the slide. Ribbon says, desktop background is a bad quality picture for the, this is a bucket meme. Wow, I got launched. Mm, I don't think I need to do that again. Do I know that this is a bucket meme? Were you memeing yesterday when you sent me that picture of a bucket with the knives in it? Pictures, plural. You did send me pictures, didn't you? Is this the same slide that I thought I was going down? Shortcut. Not much of a shortcut, actually. Yeah, I think it's the same slide. So we'll just go to the end here, because that seemed to be where the game is pointing me. I should put a chair here, so you can watch people shoot out the slide. Oh, 
the way this guy controls, like, he doesn't turn as tightly as you would hope. But it feels more like you're an actual dude with wet shoes on. Okay, back into the darkness. Okay, let us have our fun. Back into the darker darkness. What? Okay, that was a hole. That was a hole. So, one of the pictures does not work, but Ruben's going to fix that. How does a picture not work? What does a picture do that a picture can fail to do? I, I need answers. Hmm. Is that another rubber ducky? Or is this a floaty ring? Okay, jump scare, jump scare. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, it's a physics object. I can't grab it. I'm gonna try to push it out of the water. And game says no. Clip into my taskbar. You can clip pictures onto your taskbar in Windows? I haven't played around with Windows. I've played around with Windows 11 enough to uh, make it stop spying on me, and that's all I've really concerned myself with customization-wise. I suppose this is the exit? There we go, chapter two, done. I don't know why it does this between chapters though. Like I can click continue whenever. All right, so we're coming out and sploosh. Ruben's friend handled that for him. Yeah, the best I could do is turn off the AI assistant and then uh, use a tool to like permanently uninstall Windows Edge. Apparently that's good enough for now. How is it so dark down here, but so bright up there? Well, this, is... this is some obstacle illusion, isn't it? Ob optical illusion, right? Like, you make it so that the bars, the white and the white and black bars, get narrower and narrower as you go through. And so it'll make it look like the hallway is getting narrower. But no, the hallway is just getting narrower. It is not supposed to do that, though. The picture's not being in the task bar? Okay. Darkness? Slightly less darkness. We're going to go with the slightly less darkness, because I kind of want to see why the light is moving this way. Like, what is... Oh, that's... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, see, this is the sort of thing my brain would cook up, too, is there's a railing here. And there's another pathway there, but we can't go to it because of the railing. Anyway, what's going on here? Oh, cool! It's like an aquarium, but the only thing that's in it are 
inflatable rafts, pool rings. If they wanted to get a good jump scare here, they'd have a shark just like slam against the wall, the glass on that inner part. Kind of fixed it myself. It is such a bad quality slideshow. How's the game going? Um, there have been some spooky noises. I saw some spooky hands underwater one time. And these are physics objects. Oh, and I got jump scared by a giant uh, inflatable rubber ducky. It wasn't moving or anything. I just psyched myself out. And the game won't let me take these rings out of the pool. So we're on level 3 at this point. I think there are 6 levels in this game. There has been no plot. Oh, we had a couple of nice moments sitting in some uh, lawn chairs in a pool, listening to kind of creepy sound and jazz. I'm hoping level 3 is not as dark as level 2 mostly was. I think level 3's thing is about narrow, really... Ooh, sauna. Can I sit down? You won't let me sit down. This looks like an area to chill in. This is an area where you do very much the opposite of chill. You get very, very hot. I haven't been in a sauna since I was like I think the last time I was in a sauna was when I was in Costa Rica. And that was many, many, many years ago. I expected there to be one of those little buckets of water. Like, I think the Norwegians do this, where they like they throw water on the hot rocks to make steam. The Japanese have also adopted this practice. That's the only reason I'm familiar with it. Three sixty P. I don't know if that's oh wait, did I just miss a door? Oh, it's another sauna. It looks the same. So this is the sauna tunnel. The tower, the tunnel of saunas. That are all the same. Did your dog step on your keyboard, Ruben? That should be 360 P's. Hey, 360p was good enough for Mario Kart on the Wii. And this definitely isn't as action-packed a game as that. Underwater toilet. Underwater toilet. Won't let me sit on the underwater toilet. But it's got one of those flushing mechanisms where you can do the big flush or the small flush. Maybe. It doesn't look like the button's actually divided. Anyway, that's unsanitary. Um, I'm assuming the game wants me to go this way because I put a toilet here. So let's not. Ruben has not played that game in a while. I mean, you were like a really, really little kid when Mario Kart Wii was a thing. But you do, your friend has that modded Wii, right? Ooh, this is nice. Ducky. Inaccessible pool. Extra inaccessible pool. It's like the opposite of the uh, Americans with Disabilities Act pool area. Was for winning with the BSO. Bingo. Ah. Playing Wii games. It's... Why is that ducky bobbing that much? 
yeah, playing Wii games at school because it's such an old ah, that's scary. It's an old con. It's such an old console. The school doesn't need to worry about it, you know, breaking. They can just buy a replacement one from the corner shop. Ruben was a kid, but for us, it did not have to be a thing. Okay, we found another one of these awful areas. At least this one's not flooded, which is kind of disappointing in a game about pools, but I can move and I can hear what's going on around me more easily. When you're surrounded by water, it's kind of hard to hear what's going on. Right, so we're going to go up again to see if we can ride this slide. Looks pretty straightforward, actually. Take a look at oh hey. That's the theme of this level. Toilets. And then there is no toilet here. Well, yes, they did, and they stopped with the Wii because kids. I assume the kids eventually broke enough parts that they couldn't replace. You won't let me sit on the toilet. Why don't we just bang into all of them? No toilet. No toilet here either. Why do bathrooms at pools smell so weird? Is it the extra chlorine? That was short. Also, uh, no, no way back. Hmm, this is a different kind of window than we've seen so far. And they're not buzzing. So maybe this is actual natural light. Ruben guess he's a friend with the CEO of the BSO because they're also the main employee. Friends with the CEO of the after school thingy. I don't think that gives you very many opportunities though for like corruption and taking advantage of the world. So this is just what is this? Oh, there's a slide! There's a slide! It goes straight... Well, I guess not a slide at that point. It's just a... a, a, a fall. You will not slide in that tube. You will fall. They have a whole three employees. Oh. Big nonsensical sauna. Yep. We get fog effects, we get water on the lens effects. They are doing everything they can to obscure my vision so it's spookier. Oh, and now we got flooded sauna. Where we get to boil like a crab in a pot. This is a lot, actually. Three employees are what? They're just statues? They're just statues. Totally just statues. You ready? You ready? You ready? We're gonna go through the statues. Here we go. 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 They're not gonna jump at me. They're not gonna jump at me. They're not gonna jump at me. Keep going. Don't look back. Don't look. Toilet. Don't look back. Don't. Let me go, toilet. Eight years ago or so, the thing started with only the CEO slash boss. Oh. And now I'm questioning gravity's direction. 
as flat earthers like to say, water doesn't curve, which is stupid, because it does, but it doesn't curve like this. The toilet holding me back. Yeah, 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 yeah. It uh, did not want to let me go. And there's gravity changing orientation. If I look back now, the statues just fall. They'll just go, and they'll break. But they're not coming. They're not coming for us. They're, they're fine. It's fine. Stanley took the left door. <laughs> Game designer's like, I did it once and I'll do it again. And then we get the uh, the Mario Galaxy slide, where gravity is meaningless. Ruben gets his soup there at the after school thing. Ow. We don't get a rewind from that. Who's... Oh, wait, I'm not walking. Who's walking? Right, well, we don't know which way up was before, and we definitely don't know which way up is now. Well, I guess up is that way. Relative to our gravity. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, Escher. Ooh, if I look at it just like this, it's kind of like a Google Play button. I guess the after school people are nice people, at least when Ruben visits. When Ruben visits. They don't have to be nice all the time. Not everyone has to be nice all the time. But it's nice when people are nice to you. There's this character in Hades 2, and when she finds out who the bad guy is of the game, she's like, oh, well, he's never done anything bad to me, so... How come the game lets you sit on the toilet? Oh, this is a... Mm, yeah, nightmare. Like, he's trying. And this guy's just staring. And there's no toilet paper. And I kind of doubt there's a bidet. It's kind of hard to explain since differences in culture. Oh. It's, uh, it's a statue of a man sitting on a party chair. Lawn chair. We're elevating our great modern culture. Oh, that was my phone. That was my phone. And there's a door out. And we can barely see the man sitting from the backside. Music. Yeah, hopefully my phone going off doesn't get this uh, video copyright strike if I put it on YouTube. This is pretty straightforward for being left and right and left and right and up and down and up and down. But... Phone, don't be more spooky than the game! You know, if you heard my ringtone in kind of an echoey area and you didn't know what it was, it would be a little spooky. Can I sit in this chair? Yeah. Sit in the chair. Ponder the black and white wall. 
onto the deep, deep pool. Ruben's got a 10 second delay. I mean, some of that might just be... It was like three half notes. So it could be that the AI in my OBS that cuts out noise and only picks up me talking was cutting out most of the song. Anyway, where are we? Another bathroom. Bam! No toilet. Bam! No. Is there a back wall here? Yeah. Two-way toilet doors. That's not ideal. This toilet room's a little more spacious, but there's no toilets. So it's basically not a bathroom. It's just a bunch of tiny cubicles. Are we back in wood? It's like a sauna, but it's not a sauna anymore. Ooh. 1980s unfinished basement vibes. It was like some creepy notes you would expect the game to play. Is this going to be like that maze in Spooky's Jump Scare Manor? Where I'm supposed to be able to hear if I'm going the right direction? Well, there's some noise coming from this direction. So we're going to treat it like the Lost Woods in Legend of Zelda. Just follow the spooky... Maybe that's not how we go. Dude, I can't see. I know you guys can't see anything. And we're out. Lucky. This is... I like this. This is creepy, but like... And probably a slip and fall hazard, but... What? Okay, well. Ruben went to the BSO for a lot of years, and then he went to the next school. Has refreshing your Twitch caught you back up? Uh, he's old enough to not be babysit, so he doesn't need to go to the BSO anymore. Ah, the floor probably broke out from under us. Now we're in like a wooden pool. Mmm, splinters. Uh, go through the fog gate. Time to fight a boss. Now it's a five or six second delay. That's not too bad. I mean, you gotta remember, the fastest signals can go from me to you is the speed of light, and they're not going that fast, actually. Still visit some time. I am welcome there, and soup. I mean, I said fog gate and boss fight, but this does look kind of like a boss arena, doesn't it? I kind of want the the roundhouse music from uh, Killer Seven to play in here. Oh, oh, oh! Mmm, mouth. You don't think it looks like a boss arena?
Mmm, glowy purple stuff. We're getting weirder. Oh, wait, they're not glowy purple stuff. They're just flamingos. He consume. The flamingos will meet their fate in that mouth someday. Not right now, because I can't get at them. Whoever made these models really likes putting big bug eyes on their weird little plastic animals. So that's more darkness. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid the... You don't think they're flamingos? They're, those are totally flamingos. Not flamingos with their air and... Pinkness. Flamingos are pink. I guess you can maybe make non-pink flamingos if you raised one from a chick and never let it eat krill. Gave it some sort of weird artificial food. This makes me think of a school staircase. I'm going to poke into this room real quick just to see what's going on. And then we're going to keep going up the staircase. It's more staircases. I lied. We're gonna check out this absolutely pitch black tunnel. Oh, I think we're back in that boss arena room. How dare they? The flamingos not be pink? Or some hypothetical flamingo researcher making a baby flamingo live a life without krill? Let's go up these stairs. It's probably all going the same place, right? Ooh. Door. Let me go up the door. How about this door? Nope. Well, oh, that's dangerous. Someone should put a rail there. Ah! I got wow jump scared. We go up. We're going up. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. See, this this is getting back to the, the nonsensical spaces that a lot of my nightmares take place in. Hey, Pleb King. Welcome to my pool stream. And Reshi, welcome. You just missed the dump the jump scare. Yeah. Caffeine has joined to the pleb, but he didn't know that until now. Good job lurking. You were the sneakiest lurker. This ain't the hot tub stream I followed along for. What, you don't think this is some hot pool action? See, now now we know. We gotta keep going up, because we can get into that uh, slide, and then like come out of the slide and slam into this... Where is it? That's... I'm pretty sure this is the bottom of a slide, but let's just, let's just take a look real quick. This is the back rooms, but with more chlorine. Yeah, exactly. And I mean that. That's in the, the description of the game in Steam, I think. It's something like, Yeah, hey, I wanted to make the back rooms, but, uh, different. How long did it take to build? What, this place? I have no idea. I mean, 
again, someone made a video game about my recurring nightmare of nonsensical connecting rooms that have pools in them. Which is why I had to play this game. Also, toilets. The nonsensical toilets. This person hacked my brain. And made a video game out of it. Out of my nightmares. Rushy is mediated meditated more halfway through his last session again experiencing REM and talking to someone in a void that went by the name of Ashley that's some hardcore meditation dude half the indoor pools poison me or just my legs I was saying earlier when it was just like Ruben and me that it was kind of cool when I was a little kid sometimes I would yep I would end up going to a uh, hotel on vacation and like it would have a deal with other nearby hotels that you could use their pools too. And so you would see lots of different kinds of pools. We're in. We have infiltrated the flamingo's pool. Are they physics objects? Yes. They go bonk like they're much more tightly inflated. See, this is why you go up the stairs. Ribbon's allergic to one indoor swimming pool, he knows. Yeah, chlorine can't be good for a sensitive skin. But yeah, this is why you go up the stairs, so you can go down the slides. Just short. Just short of slamming our face into that wall. Okay, and now I'm completely lost. I have no idea where I am. So... Do we keep going up? Or do we check out the darkness? They're not inflatables. The water is just so dense that the solid granite flamingos float. I don't think it's water at that point. Hmm, I think this is the boss room. I only call it that because it kind of makes me think of, like, the place where you fight, uh, that amoeba thing in Ocarina of Time. Hmm. There was something like this when we came in. Okay, cool, cool. I know kind of where we are now. We're back at the beginning. This water and... Yes, it's non-water. Gladium died clear, because you can dye things to make them clear. Clear is a color, guys. Is water black, though? Uh, water is dark green, usually. But if it gets deep enough, it looks black. Or if it has, you know, black tiles underneath of it. Alright, so plan now is we're just going to stick with this one staircase. The first staircase. The staircase I said, I'm going to climb it. And then I was like, eh, no, I'm going to cheat on this staircase with other staircases. No, we're going up this one now. We're going to go all the way to the top. Assuming there's a top. We're not going to give in the temptation to go into this interesting looking room. We're just going to the top. No, oh, never mind. We've gotten to the top. So, interesting room then. Ladder? Ladder that doesn't want me to climb, apparently. Why, game? Why would you put this ladder here and then tell me I can't climb it? Slightly mad about it. Staircase prostitution sounds like a sick, sick metal band name. Mm, you're free to have that one. 
The waters contain so much sugar, the flamingos float because of diet. Uh, I think this is the slide we already went down. Or, no, it's a slide I wanted to go down, and then I realized that... Yeah, 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 I wanted to go down this slide, because I wanted to slam into the ladder, but it... We didn't get an opportunity. We went down other slides instead. But yeah, you could make denser flamingos float by just putting sugar in the water, or lots of salt. Lots and lots of salt. So if level one is any suggestion, that's our ultimate goal in this level. Why does it sound like we have boots now? A mash, po a potato masher works surprisingly well to make strawberry syrup or jam. It also works very well to uh, what's the what's uh, pull to pull meat. If you want to make pulled pork or something. Potato masher. Definitely works pretty good. Welcome back to the slide. I know we took a blue slide, we took a red slide already. I don't think we took a yellow slide yet. There we go. That's, that's the one. That's the one where we very nearly slam into the ladder. Ruben is now in a fully dark room. I guess it is that time of night where you are. Really figure out what's going on there? Oh, think about going into a sensory deprivation chamber so I can meditate tenfold of what I did last session. I've never been in one of those, and yeah, like Ruben just said, I'd probably go insane. I mean, we could go back up those stairs, or we could see if there's anything over here. Hey, look, stairs! There's a thing over here. It's stairs. Have I been in this pool? I have now. Bonk. Not time of night. Just drapes in a window thing. Okay, slopes. We haven't seen a slope yet in this level. Everything's kind of weirdly shiny in here. I mean, the game's called pools. I gotta go in the pools, right? Nothing going on over there. Nothing going on over here. <clears throat> so I guess we keep going up. But first, let's check this door. And that door is not real. Ruben bikes alone for one point and a half, one and a half hours on a school day. Even with senses, he's starting to go insane. Uh, how much higher up can we go? We've taken all the slides. We're just going to keep going up now. Only up. If we can help it. Alright, we've been here. Definitely been here. But we'll just avoid taking the slide. See if that gets us anywhere. There we go, up some more. Up into the darkness. Right, so that's the slide we took before. Aha! We found it. The 
probably exit to this level. Is that it? No, it's not! The game's like, no, dummy, don't do that. Fine. The true enemy slides. Slides are fun. It's just, at this point, we've been down all of them. That's a, that's a hole. Okay, well, now I don't know what to do, because I've been all the way up. And that seemed, that seemed to be the, the theme of this level, the staircases. I'm going up. How about going down? Back in here. Did I look around much over this way? I think we went up to the top of the staircase. Minecraft, stone, walking noises. Yeah, in earlier levels we got a lot of, uh, Squish, 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 squish noises, because, you know, we're walking around in water. You watched Vinny play this like three days ago. Did Vinny enjoy my nightmare? Okay, this is like the beginning area. I'm gonna try to stay down towards the bottom. He added reverb to his mic. That would be a good plan, wouldn't it? But I don't want to do that. So let's go down further. Maybe if I could go in there, I could escape. Okay, we're back here with the first set of flamingos. I don't think I went in here. If it was not for the drawing, the game would border my room. Also, One Piece update is on episode 595 now. Out of how many thousand episodes? Man, I am just not properly trying to map this place out of my brain. Just staying completely lost. It's about a thousand one hundred episodes. I had to adjust my glasses real quick. They were starting to dig into my uh, earlobes. Well, I don't think I've seen these pools before. Thought I saw something on the other ladder for a second. You have a plan for the collab. Oh yeah, I mentioned that earlier when people weren't here that I was trying to uh, 
get a collab going with some other random VTuber just because she said, I wish I could collab with people more, but I don't want to look like I'm chasing clout. And I'm like, well, you work with me, you won't look like you're chasing clout. Anyway, uh, I wanted to play Content Warning with her, and one of her friends got her to play it this morning. So I was like, no, I missed my shot. But if anyone wants to play uh, Content Warning with me, maybe we could do that next Friday. This seems to go down farther. Ooh. Oh, we've been here. We've been here. I remember this. I remember this hole. Can I go down farther than that hole, though? No, that's the bottom. And then these are the stairs where I was like... It's like a school. As a professional lurker, Caffeine says, because he's playing Cyberpunk, I forgot to do this. Forgot to do what? Forest Beast can't play tomorrow. He's, or, uh, next Friday, he's got to walk his fish. Aw. Any progress on that plan? The plan for a collab? No, not anymore. Rushy's trying to get his PC repaired. Might be able to do it. Do it. No promises, though. That'd be cool. Why did my alert not go off when you followed me, Caffeine? Thanks for the follow, though. Hate doing that. They just want to play with the wild sharks. I mean, walking your fish is an important part of fish ownership, though. Fish needs exercise. That was kind of a joke, but, uh... Have I been in here? But I did work at a place once where we had aquatic turtles. And the aquatic turtles... There it goes! A little late. But yeah, thanks for the follow. Um, yeah, we had aquatic turtles. And they needed walks. They needed sometimes to be taken out of their little aquatic environment to go walk around on the land because they need the exercise. I'm going to go down this slide again. Ribbon rather than play in the yard. As long as you've got a yard that you can keep an eye on your fish in, yeah, it's kind of ideal. Though if you can throw a ball for it, that's better. You know, the fish is only going to get so much exercise just kind of wandering around in the yard. Have I been here? I don't think I've been here. I don't recognize this room. So yeah, some of these, uh, some of these pools are not dense, and you just sink. Maybe they're filled with alcohol. Big yard, nice roof, can't escape. How about this pool? Also a drowning hole. Filled to the brim with mercury. Nah, you'd float on Mercury. Like, chasing the fish, it's fun for both of us. If that's what your fish is into, some fish that'll stress them out, but others, yeah, they're down for it. Ooh, this is different. I mean, it's kind of like the boss room. The, the amoeba boss room, but... We found the mouth.
It won't let me go in the mouth. The mouth has like an inkling type of tooth in it. Hey, they're gonna let me go down this underwater ladder. Whee! Oh! That's not the exit. The first one of those ladders we found, like that, that was underwater, uh, there were some hands that reached up from under it. It was kind of spooky. But... So far, ever since the first level, they haven't really done much in the way of jump scares. Like, they did a couple jump scares the first level, and now it's just like... They've, they've primed me to be scared. But I'm the one scaring myself. It's less effort on... This is the very beginning of the level. Yeah, that's where we came in at the very beginning. We saw the pink. We're like, what's that pink thing? And then it's flamingos. Wow. Yeah, wow, I screwed up. I am so lost in this. Just absolutely. We're gonna follow a wall. We're just gonna follow this wall on my left. We're going to see what happens. Can't go down to that water. I remember seeing this room. I mean, like, oh, that's cool. And that was Ruben's second. Wow! And this takes us back to a staircase. So if the exit is in any of the internal walls, then we're not going to find a way out this way. And the second one that everyone gets. Yeah. It's totally fair. Everyone can get it if they just try. Alright, this one, this went up. This is our way into the diving platform that I thought was the exit that wasn't the exit. Like, I recognize spots, but I don't have a map of this place in my head at this point. I'm not going down the other slide. And that was the diving platform. And this is an absolute dead end. So if we follow the wall again, there's a way up higher than the diving platform. There's like 40 plus mushrooms growing in our planter boxes. Are they mushroom planter boxes? Are you trying to grow mushrooms? Uh, we've been down that slide. Yeah.
I mean, now that I've got my hand on the railing, we're not going to go anywhere off the railing. Do I recognize this place? Yes. Do I recognize this place? Yes. But I don't remember which way I went. I don't think I went this way. And I'm not sure what stairs these are. It's other stuff like tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchini. So they're not edible mushrooms is what I'm hearing. Or they're edible if you're brave. Nope. That's not the exit. But I haven't fallen off that hole before. Okay, we've been in this room before. And we got here last time coming through here. But I don't remember if we came through the dark water or if we came through this door. up here alongside the water. That is one other dead. Yes, we have found another way to kill ourselves. Ruben has one very determined plant left. What kind of plants are you trying to grow? I think we have limited sprint. Like, eventually my character gets tired. Okay, we're back to this room again. I haven't been out to the far end. Maybe there's a door over here that's just hard to see. Or like a ladder down. It's a green plant. It's a determined green plant. Man, when I saw that right there, I was like, yeah, that's that's gotta be the way out. Jumping down the pit. And then the game's like, no, that is not the way out. What is wrong with you? I guess we could try to go to the top of all the staircases. That was a little hard to keep track of which staircase is which. And seen oh oh right, this ladder. This ladder that the game won't let me climb. We also thought this might be the way out, but no. The game's like you can't climb this ladder. This is the ladder pool. The ladder pool, if we go up the steps from it, leads to the big hole. I am, against my will, having to make an internal map of this place. Let's go to the top of these stairs. Never mind, this is the top of these stairs. Let's go to the next set of stairs over and go to the top of them. Have I been down this dark hole? Pretty sure I've been down here.
At least gravity worked here, except when it doesn't. Like, just because gravity hasn't flipped direction in this area doesn't mean it's never gonna. Toilet. Haven't found this before. Toilet. But it's also fairly close to the beginning. So it wouldn't make a lot of sense for this to be the exit. Okay, toilet inspection's complete. They all have toilet paper. So that's at least one good thing in here. More inspections. This one... Looks like it needs more paper. It's kind of hard to tell. It's a little dark. They really do like this toilet asset. I thought I saw a door over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. They need lights, they do. Lights would help. I think that's the door I went in. They need lights and plumbing. Well, if they had plumbing, then there'd be more chance of stuff coming up them. Pretty sure I've been all the way up this staircase. So let's go all the way up this dark one over here. The one with the spooky f uh, potential. I'm pretty sure I've been up both of these. But let's just double check. Very top of the staircase. That's got the ladder and the place needs a railing. The very top of here is... Flamingo pool. And I'm pretty sure if I go up the other staircase, it's also going to take me to the flamingo pool. But let's make sure. Things like humans. Yeah, a human might come up that toilet. You never know. Okay, so this should also take me up to the flamingo pool. I think my character is getting lightheaded from sprinting too much, so let's give him a little break. Yeah, there's the red tube. And the flamingo pool. At the top of these staircases. This door didn't do anything. God, I hope it's not a random door. kind of stumped. I don't know. We've poked around all the dark places. We poked around the bottom. We poked around the top. We've jumped off the cliff. Various different cliffs. What we're just going to do is afternoon meditation. We'll be back in like 15 minutes. I hope I'm not still stuck on this level in 15 minutes. I may need to go pee before I finish this level. Okay, let's check out the top of this staircase. This staircase is just a ladder down into this pool room.
ladder down to the room with the slopes. And then the slopes lead to this room with the double staircase. I've already gone in that pool. There was nothing there. I've gone up here. I'm pretty sure I came in through that door before. Is this one of the flamingo staircases? No. I'm gonna check that one path that was just, just before the top here. What is this hole? That goes to the yellow slide. And that's the drop off from the blue slide. If you land in the blue slide pool, the blue slide pool is at the top of the staircases over there. If I go down here, we've got this little dark pool with nothing in it, except for that ladder that I can't climb. This is the staircase that leads. The staircase that lead anywhere. When I first came in here, you like the colorful banner. Thank you, caffeine. I drew most of it myself. There's a couple of things like the uh, blobfish up here in the top right. That's uh, Reuben. He drew that. Uh, Murder Droid In drew this amp not Amphioxus, um, Axolotl. That's next to the shovel. Uh, what else? There's a... A Salmon Run Golden Egg that's behind me that you can't really see. That was drawn by, I think, Vopner? Maybe not. I don't remember who drew that one, actually. <laughs> Ruben, I know, it is really cool, especially the top right. Okay, where am I going now? So this is just the dark pool with the ladder, right? Is there any way we can go here that doesn't lead us back to... Blue, yellow slide, and then this way leads us to the big pit, right? Yeah, this way leads to the big pit. And if we go up here... We end up on the staircase, it takes to the... Both these staircases lead up to the... Flamingos, right? I have lost my enthusiasm for this level. No, this one doesn't lead to the flamingos. This staircase... Those two staircases lead to the flamingos. This staircase leads to the leap of faith that doesn't work. And if I keep going up from the leap of faith, I think we get to the blue slide, right? Yeah, we get to the blue slide from here. And the blue slide seems to be, like, the top. This doesn't feel familiar. I think I've been through here one time.
I forgot the pasta noodle that Ruben drew and the little dude he got from a friend. The little squirmy dude. Oh, wait. I don't think we've been here. We have discovered the heads room. Heads, plural. So from the blue slide, we go down. Can y'all see that light? So on my screen, if I hold the light like right here, there's a spooky little face. I don't think it shows up very well on stream though. Is that a slide or an arm? Oh wait, the pasta noodle, that's the star thing, right? That's next to the blobfish? Yeah, that's an arm. And I guess all those times you were sliding around the slides, you were going past this room. Just there was no way to know, because we were inside the slide. A very strong window right there, keeping all this water at bay. No, the rainbow. Oh yeah, the rainbow that's above the blobfish. That is definitely Druben's drawing. Please let this be somewhere that I haven't been already. Just random suicide pit. Why not? Sure. Oh, cool. We got a human pyramid. It's not gonna jump scare me. 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 Just gonna be here. They're just having a good time. I'm gonna stand on the button. And it's not a button, it's a hole. And that's level four. And, uh, uh, uh. Uh, that's level four. I need to take like a minute to stretch and get more water and go pee. So I'll be back in a minute or so. Uh, until then, headphone warning. Oh, you wanted to make it sound like I was falling with the ah. It's very hard to get the timing for that. Anyway, back in a minute.
And I'm back. Turns out that was a slide. Okay, so we're back to the kind of moldy... Oh! You can see the, uh, the ending of the slide. This connection right here. Where the lower part of the slide is being held up by the upper part of the slide. Maybe, maybe this, it looks like there's a possibility that this cable goes all the way through the slide, which would cut you in half. But, if there's some way it's like somehow hurled into one side, Anyway, what I'm saying is that it looks like the cable on the bottom part of this slide is supporting this lower section, which is just not... It's not a good idea, structurally. It might be okay if that cable is, you know... If it's hooked into the ceiling, and there's like something... Like a bolt holding the upper part, and then there's another bolt holding the lower part. Yeah, safety inspectors died here, so they passed. Yeah, this is not well built. Or, not built up to code. And what is going on here? Sparkly wood? Bricks. Reshi's returned. I found the absolutely random door it took to get out of the previous level. So you're just in time for me to find some new map to get lost in. Stairs, or stay on the bottom. Come to think of it, it is kind of funny that the last level put that big prominent diving board to play with my expectations that that was going to be the end of the level. Ooh, brick. We found a new texture. And then it just turned out, no, actually, the end of the level is some absolutely random doorway out of a stairway. I don't think I've ever been to a brick pool, and I'm pretty sure there are reasons why you wouldn't make a brick pool. But it does look neat. Reshi feels kind of off, more so than normal. Have you eaten anything today? We're gonna go down the blue so blue slide. Weep. And then we probably got rug burns on our butts because of the, you know, brick bottom here. Why do you think this is holy water? It's about the depth of one of those dunking baptismal things, but I've never seen one of those made out of brick either. Can we get on this spiral staircase? I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, there's a lot of spiral staircases in here, actually. Do you have enough blood? Like, seriously, if I ever feel off, I have blood too much. Reshi has eaten. Very faint spiral staircase. Well, there's a bunch of them in here, so... You'll get to identify them by sound eventually. I'm just bumping my shoulders against the wall to so make sure there's no extra doors. Diving board? That water is not deep enough for this diving board. 
We're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, that should have broken some bones, but it didn't. No major injuries I can feel or remember that caused me to lose blood. Uh, could be an intestinal bleed. Those are kind of hard to detect. No ladder on this side. That's a safety issue. Very medieval vibe, church vibe here. I was going to go with abandoned warehouse, but that's because a lot of the abandoned warehouses where I live were made of brick. Is there anything up there other than the other diving board? Is there another door? There's this. Slope. I want to slide down it. Everyone knows falling in water removes off all damage, especially if you hit a pool floaty on the way down. Yeah. This is very- or that is very specific. It's a, it's a puzzle now for you, Ruben, to try to dox me and then keep that information to yourself. Except if it's thick water. Like it's got jello in it. Hey guys. It's not just a toilet. But I think this is also a fuse box. No, or is that a shower? Maybe that's a shower behind the toilet. Let's not read too much into our uh, game creator's mental state by all these toilets underwater. No toilet in here. The thick water has more buoyancy to break your fall with, because that's how anything works, yeah. I can get your info when I meet you in 10 years. Works for me. Who ate that toilet? I think it's more like they made space to install the toilets, but the uh, contractors got sick of it. Because, like, do you want to install a toilet underwater? I don't. It's a manhole cover. They'll never get it up because it's, you know, underwater. We got sound effects. I think that means we're going the right way. It's kind of an electrical sound, but it could also be buzz saws. You know, like the path of pain. Oh, they went. They're gone. Just chill right here and meditate for a bit. You got the idea in my head, Reshi. Imagine the trench foot from being here... yeah. Yeah, this place is not sanitary. Why is my camera foggy? Now I can see there's like a little bit of fog on the right side, a little bit on the left too. I need to wipe off my lens. Which suggests that I'm seeing this through a lens. I think I like the vibe of this level the best out of all the levels we've played so far. Maybe because it's the most unrealistic. It's all wood and brick. I imagine it wouldn't smell... It would still smell overwhelmingly of chlorine, but like, there would also be a kind of a wood smell. Moving statue? You think I'm a moving statue? Am I the only one of the statues in this world that can move? The 
So it looks like there's some pillars in this room. But well, we want to go towards the lights. And it's another giant pit, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just uh we'll just assume that's death. <laughs> Can't go in there. Someone's put a chair there. I wouldn't sit in it. But it would really help the aesthetic to have a chair in that corner. Jumps in, goes back to level one. Ah! Uh. See, a good climbing rage game can be beaten in like 20 minutes at tops. This is not a game where I want to fall back to level one. Hey, we're back to the Escher stuff. So you said fall back to level one, but I'm pretty sure this is level three. We walked along that path down there. And we saw this just on the side. This was after gravity got all weird. Come on. Come on. Oh, my XP! You can sprint. I can sprint, but I think my character gets out of breath. Eventually they slow down. Plus, hey guys, this is a walking simulator, not a sprinting simulator. Right now, right now would be the perfect time to jump scare me. Please don't make this... Please don't make this a gravity puzzle. I'm gonna go over here, and there's gonna be that door. <sighs> it's a gravity puzzle. My brain can't do gravity puzzles. I'm too stupid for this. Statues don't breathe. They don't... don't they don't move either. <laughs> I am out of W-O-W's. They made a gravity puzzle. Uh... Oh, hey, it's the Catboy statue. Also from level three. Except now it's dark. So you remember the ring of chairs? Why do they have to do this to me? Why did it go and make the gravity adjustable? I'm never gonna find my way out of this. Whoa, just launched up that. I'll take it. This game likes its lawn chairs. Little plastic lawn chairs from Walmart. Performed a dive worthy of an award. We reset gravity. Oh yes, of course they'd have round windows, so I can't tell if I've reset gravity or not. Oh. Thank you, game, for not making that level too complicated. Never mind, we're still here. Little plastic lawn chairs from Walmart. Ooh, this is... What is this symbol? The Boy Scouts of America use a symbol like this. Or whatever the Scouts are called now. I think they are just called the Scouts now. real back rooms. 
the back rooms, but with a mold problem. Alright, this is a point of no return, probably, right? Because once I get in there, there's no ladder or stairs. So I must be going the right way. Ruben is going ball in his dreams. Hopefully not. Falling in my dreams is one of the ways that like I can wake myself up. And, you know, don't want to wake myself up if I can help it. Kind of need that sleep. Those manhole covers are so waterlogged, probably rusted shut. And even if they weren't rusted shut, the weight of the water would make it so you can't pick them up. Now oh, we got another inception wall. Okay, this feels less like a pool and more like... Yeah, back rooms. Something weird's going on with the... Noises. Something weird's going on with the textures on the walls. I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Looks kind of cool. Gives a very good... Reality isn't working right. Reality is not reeling right now. Telephone. How many more years until this is just like, oh, it's a Doctor Who reference, and no one actually knows what it is. My gravity. My gravity is. It definitely is. It is gravity, and it is gravitying me down. What way is down? Gravity hasn't made its mind up yet. Ooh, flowers. Ooh, there's pipes in this water. I guess they're not going to suck me in. Already is so in Cochum. I don't, I don't get that one. Hey, this looks actually kind of friendly and welcoming. I'm just going to stay in the water. The walls, they are upside down. Well, now they're tile, so we can't tell if they're upside down. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 this is not. So, I thought for a second, oh no, we're back at the, uh, the slides. But that room is made out of brick. That room is made of brick, and the one on the far left was the blue slide. And, mmm, mmm, mmm. In Cochum, there is a telephone booth, and people see it as a tourist attraction. I see. I did not know that. I do not do that kind of water slide in real life. Yeah, the first set only had three slides, too. Yes, this looks... This looks like sufficient landing area. Is this what cocaine is like? No, it is not. Cocaine is not like this. Mushrooms, maybe a little bit. Focus mode. Coke is a tad different. Uh, do we want to go try to find where to the... No, I, don't think... I don't think we can get to those staircases over there. I think we just keep going forward. Also, wow, what... Much, much support there with the bar at an angle. 
No, this is the after effect after you lose the lawsuits and are sent to the back rooms. <laughs> this is when you, like, just give up on life and be like, I'm just gonna sit in a pool until someone kicks me out and then the chlorine messes with your brain and you end up tripping about yellow pool slides that just dump you straight 30 feet down straight into like two feet of water. Ten meters into like half a meter of water. I think I see an exit sign. Imagine going here and you have to leave and find the exit, but every minute in here is a day in the real world. I mean, this suggests the exit's this direction, but there's nothing over there, so... I'm just going to pretend that that's not ominous looking and uh, go in this door. Is it bad to spend an hour, or, sorry, a day in the real world for every minute you're in here? Depends on how much you age. If it goes all Rip Van Winkle, or, uh, Urashima something Tato, I forget his name, then yeah, that's bad. But if you just pop out on the other end, like, the time machine, like in Orson Welles' The Time Machine, Not dead. Then, you know, it could be interesting to see what the world is like. Uh, I've been playing this for how many minutes? Under 20. So I've been, I'd be stuck in here for about a year so far. Which isn't the worst thing. I'm getting some clown vibes here. I'm gonna not go straight. Because if it's about the journey and not the destination, we might as well have a little bit more journey, right? Right? Oh, that's cute. Years of sleep and uh, falls asleep, but ten years go by. Well, again, I've been in here less than a year. If every minute I'm in here is a minute, or every minute here's an hour, or a day, a day. If every minute in here's a day, I've been in here for like 160, so 190 days, something like that. 50. Two hours is 120 minutes, sir. So I've been in here 150 days, half a year. Which normally you would think, oh, well, great, now you've uh, ruined your life because you've been unemployed for half a year. It's like, ha 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 ha. How long has it been since I had a real job for any length of time? And yet still every once in a while someone tries to hire me. Falls asleep, two years go by. Oh, okay. This looks promising. Okay, less clown vibes now, more matrix. But it is made out of shiny, shiny tile. Is that an escalator? It's an escalator! It's a very slow escalator, actually. Ruben, I won't not want to get lost, and then you would miss all the streams. Oh, that didn't look right. What is that? Oh, it's a face! And a bunch of chairs stapled to a brick wall. And a bunch of brick tubes that are not parallel with gravity. I wouldn't expect a very fast escalator here. Yeah, maybe slow is better.
Maybe slow is less likely to seize up and break. Anything interesting over here? No, nah, this room's not. Oh! Is that voices backwards? This game loves long chairs. It's also probably slow because of how long the thing is. A lot of drag. And friction. Yeah, the water probably doesn't help either. They probably gotta lube this thing a lot. And if any sort of like soap gets involved in like the oil they lube it with and all this water would make an, probably an emulsification, which could jam the gears up even worse than not lubing it. So sort of a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation as far as maintaining this escalator. And yet they do, how nice of them. They go through all that trouble just to make it so I can get to this green area without walking as much. It's the same wallpaper. Lift some stairs down. It's just a pit. Can I open this door? Yes. And now it's kind of spooky again. It's sort of like a overflow spillway for a dam. If somehow water came gushing out of that window. Still upside down, yeah. Not sure if gravity's been fixed yet. Might need to walk on some more walls. Something's gonna go on with gravity in a second. Whee! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, there's some art. <laughs> Cute. Whoa, what? Wait, 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 wait. I thought we were outside for two seconds. But of course not. Of course we're not. This is a big pool. There used to be a door here, and they just taped it shut. <laughs> Portal vibe. Portal vibe. Stanley parable vibe. There's no way out of this pool. Oops. What's inside of that big orb in Las Vegas? Could they do this with that orb? No back door. Kind of like high, high res Minecraft vibe. Could you make a dome with an artificial sun in it in Minecraft? That'd be kind of cool. I don't think light works that way in that game, though. You would have to have, like, torches every seven, every couple of meters, every couple of blocks. Def Laboon vibes. I don't know Laboon, but I do know that 
modern building codes wouldn't let you have a house with only one entrance. You couldn't build a dome. Well, not a dome dome, but the One Piece whale. Comparatively early on, One Piece whale, when they get to the Grand Line, that whale. It's been literally over a decade since I read One Piece. Oh. Okay, now we're going full on, like, space colony. I can't help but feel we've, um, we've strayed a little bit from our pools theme. You can use maps with item frames on lights. Oh! Huh. That was weird. Chapter 5! I think there's only one more chapter to go. What madness awaits? We Stanley Parable now. This staircase goes nowhere. <laughs> Weak buildings. They are weak and they will not survive the winter. Well, they didn't survive the earthquake, so... Rip buildings. Got ourselves an old school radiator. And a guy with some hands. Never mind, it's just hands. Saying go into the darkness. That's somehow dark, despite having these windows. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's our uh, our contractually obligated pool for this level. Mouth dude. Getting some real Yogi Bear's treasure cave vibes from this level. Just sort of keep going straight. Don't worry if the floor is uneven. It's just part of the fun. Okay, that's actually a, kind of a cool interior design idea. Check this out. How the li the lights like line up, right? Like you design a staircase where there's some little wall lights and then they point towards a light at the top. Ruben will have nightmares, and I can't stop him. Nope, sure can't. At least it's better than when I play too much Splatoon, and I get dreams about playing Splatoon. Because I don't get motion sick playing Splatoon, but I do get motion sick dreaming about it. Oh, we're like portal back rooms now. We're looking at the... The earlier levels, like the big bright lights, they were one-way mirrors. Nice. Draw chess. Just kick that door open. Kind of helps if I look up. Y'all can see a little bit more of what's going on. Ooh, comfy chair. Just sort of sink into the comfy chair for a second. Catch our breath. Stare at the light so that the uh, screen is not complete darkness. All right, we've remained hydrated. Kick the door in. Bam! Oh! Yeah, that's not safe. Different kind of Minecraft vibes. Like, am I gonna have to hop down one block at a time? Correct gravity, in that it is deadly and it goes down.
And just like Minecraft, you have to have two blocks in front of this door so we can kick it in. Bam. And pool. Hello, pool. Thanks for being sort of clean looking. Oh, you think the walls were showing correct gravity? And dive, 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 dive. Gotta do it. That's probably also death. So the theme of this level is big old holes in the ground. And very narrow pathways. It'd be funny if they put a hole right there. So if you're not paying attention, you just sort of strafe into it. Man, it's really been a while since they tried to jump scare me. All the pool floaties. It's like an obstacle course of pool floaties. Are you guys able to hum and whistle at the same time? So it sounds like a kazoo. No, I don't think I can do that. I can barely whistle. Oh, we were just there. Slide time. This is definitely how you design a slide so that it pops out again over like two centimeters of water. Ruben can't even whistle. I don't know how to teach you to whistle other than the classic just purse your lips and blow advice. I don't even know what movie that's from. I just know that Bugs Bunny made fun of it a lot of times. Ooh. Ancient. Ancient sauna amphitheater. Imagine how much energy it takes to heat this large a space to a sauna. I don't think this much hot rocks would do it. And wouldn't you have a bunch of, you know, not as hot spots, but also way, way, way too hot spots? Like, where I'm standing right now, if this whole area is sauna temperature, there's a guy up there. Anyway, I should be burning. I should be on fire. Ruby can play clarinet, but not whistle. You don't want to blow with all your might, though. Well, gotta go. See you later, alligator. Thanks for hanging out. Also, hi, Nipa. I read the My First Pool stream and started thinking, what have you done? But this is fine. That was the intent. I'm glad that it worked. Oh no, we're back to the staircases. Please no. Please no more staircases. It's just a slide. That's the whole room. It's a slide. Brings the whole room together because there's nothing else in the room. You want to do a controlled blow, yeah. Like, uh... If I whistle for too long, my mic actually... It looks like it, um... Doesn't record it. Higher pitched, it goes away. Interesting. Nipa, it doesn't say you're new here, but I don't recognize that name. It peaks. When Ruben read the announcement, he thought 
Plastic Duck Simulator. Now that'll be a, a hot tub stream. This is a pool stream. Oh no, they're giving us choices again. Oh, these are actually nicer, nicer cheap plastic chairs. They got a little extra thickness to them. The plastic duck sim is oddly relaxing. <laughs> Blue crab starts hot tub streaming. Would that be animal cruelty if I uh, just started streaming like cooking crabs and called it a hot tub stream? Does my chat bot have a follow age? Uh, yeah, if it's working. If it's working. Mm hmm, mm hmm, yes, yes. I, I should definitely go down the green slide that leads to a buzzsaw. Following for two years. How do I not know you? Aww, uh, we didn't get buzzsawed. Sploosh. Is this the room where we had a choice? This is the room where we had a choice. I think we chose correctly. We chose to... That's the saw I heard earlier. Like, several levels ago. Nipa has not been here for a long time, that's why. Yeah, there might be a couple seconds delay on how many times uh, the followage works. Followage, follow age. Enunciate it how. <laughs> Ruben doesn't remember you. If Ruben doesn't remember you, yeah, it must have been a while. More of those weak houses. But now we're inside like a giant Quonset hut. Let's go left. This is, uh, this is Tangier Island in about 10 years. That's where Ruben can meet me, on Tangier Island. We'll just go walk around the ruins. Illegally. It's been so long, you don't remember. Didn't know I was a VTuber. <laughs> well, I have been a VTuber since pretty much since I started. I think I got my first model working, um... I think I started in, like, August 2021, and the first model started working in, like, October? November? No, no, no. I was still, re I was still researching how to make... Hmm, do we go up, or do we stay here? Yeah, I think I was still researching how to make a model, um, like, with Blender and stuff back in November 2021, so it might have been December? You know, I don't remember exactly when I started using the VTuber model, but that was always the intent. Oh, this goes up too. Ruben met me when... OG Crab. Bam! Yeah, let's not go down. Let's go into the, uh, the steam tunnels. Maybe Tom Hanks will make a movie about us. Okay. Like, bunker dorms. I wanted to see if there was a bottom to the ladders. A 
And toilets. No toilet here. Well, at least these drains have grates on them. So hopefully nothing pops out of them, right? I can't go in it. Nipa, for some reason, doesn't remember why or when he's even followed. Why did why follow certain people? Most are because of Mario Maker, though. Like, 90% are Mario Maker makers. Yeah, so you probably followed me when I played Mario Maker before I got sick of it. Before I got sick of having viewers. No, I didn't hate having viewers. I just didn't want to play Mario Maker anymore. I have gained less than 100 followers since I stopped playing Mario Maker. Years and years and years ago. Not years and years. I stopped in like... I stopped in 2022, I think. Ooh. Art. So, what's her bet? Is it going to be something funny on the canvas, or something really disturbing? That paint bucket... I'm not sure what's sitting on top of it. Some days ago, this was the Mario Crab. Yeah, we replaced the Mario... We replaced Crab Ario with the, uh, the lore blobfish. Empty canvas. And it's... Here. It's just where we are. I don't see anything terribly out of order. Except it's not showing... This bit of wall is not in the picture, and instead you can see this light. Ribbon, bet nothing. 500 points. Here's our disturbing thing, is that weird open mouth model again. Not gonna think too hard about that. My point of 37.7k. Is that a temperature in Kelvin? A very, very cold temperature in Kelvin. Ooh, escalators! I miss malls. I miss malls being a thing. Because escalators are neat. Escalators were neat enough to me to get over my fear of falling to ride them up and down sometimes. I think I'll skip that ladder. Star! Are we in America now? You think that the 67.7k is Ruben's channel points amount? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nipa, Mario Maker is very likely. Usually the reason why I don't remember why I followed some people is that they don't have Mario Maker in recently played games. Yeah, I have not recently played Mario Maker. I don't... Point of no return? Or just sticking us back somewhere we've already been? I don't think I've been here. Oh. Some stairs. This doesn't look familiar either. Uh, Reshi played Mario Maker 2 in 2020 to get affiliate. Same. 2021, got affiliate with Mario Maker. Stopped playing Mario Maker. Ruben gets to uh, have me all to himself after that. Usually.
Let's just keep going the spooky dooky route. Oh no! Oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Ride an escalator up and then down and then up and then down. I'm not going back for those. This stream's already three hours long. So, physics wise, I should not be able to kick this door open if there's water on the other side. And if there isn't water on the other side, the water should drain. But, there's water on the other side. This is like the worst bed ever. I don't think even I could sleep comfortably in that little space. Once you put like a futon or something, I'd be like too wide. A lot of people think Freshie's Korean, he doesn't know why. I have people think I was Japanese because my Mario Maker nationality for some reason was Japanese. Well, I guess it's because my account. Juicebox is a Japanese account so I can buy Japanese games. New chair type unlocked. Can we sit in it? No. We're gonna go act. We're gonna play um, old folk home real quick. Sit in the comfy chair. Stare out the window. Boom. I'm gonna assume that little purple flash was a glitch. Reuben thought that Reshi was human. Let's not explore that statement too much. Reshi has the opposite of claustrophobia. He likes small and tight places, but generally terrified of large open areas. When I was a little kid, um, there was this one museum where you went in, and the the atrium was just super high up in the air. Like, it was just this, this massive room. And I would get dizzy looking up. Also, if I go outside a door... This hadn't happened recently, but when, when I was a kid... If I would go out a door and didn't realize that door went outside, and I didn't realize I was outside, then looking up would also make me dizzy. Oh no, I missed Nipa's chat. About it being understandable that Nipa has, or that Reshi has anti-claustrophobia. Or, hang on. I have one perspective on how much time it's been since the last time I was here. Hopefully it's a good one. I do not remember that character you use right now. So you followed really early on. Okay, I think the door was here. Yeah, there's the door. I mean, this character specifically... The model's been the same the whole time, but I've given different shirts and stuff, and I'm using a different program now. Hang on, yeah, uh... He probably showed up when I looked like this all the time. And now this is what I do when I'm signing out of the stream. I also might have been in the other corner back then. But now I use this. So you can see it when I drink water. Or so oh no! Okay. Uh, it doesn't look... Yeah, this, the uh, the window this is running in glitched out for a second, but it's good. It's good now. I was on the left side at first, thank you. I thought I was, but I don't trust my memory. Oh, we're getting out of the... Steam works water. Or did I at some point get really turned around? I hope this level isn't too much of a maze. Because the one level where it was a maze, I got stuck there for way too long. Twitch jumped.
Oh, we're back here. That's not good. That is not good. Raven has a screenshot of me being in the middle of the stream. So you had other characters, different clothes and stuff? No, it was this character. I've just worn different shirts and I've used a, a different program for a long time, which was a lot less expressive, but also used a lot less RAM. It has a fuzzy memory of one character, but not sure it was yours, someone else's. It was probably someone else's. The only thing I've changed with this model is what shirt I'm wearing and the program I'm using to animate it. Let's try going up here. This looks a little bit like they no poo do. Don't ask what that is. If you know, you know. I'm not getting in that water, though. It's like a... Ooh. I thought it's a little bit like a lighthouse, but now it's just like a scary elevator type thing. I'm going to keep going around the scary elevator looking thing. Twitch, do not crash. I cannot help it if Twitch crashes. Okay, we've probably been in there. But I don't remember going past that lighthouse, so this might be a different section of the steam tunnels. No, no. No, we've been through here because I kicked open this door. So let's try to avoid spooky areas and try to go to the light. So there's definitely a lot of light areas on this side of the map I did not go into. And we might be able to find a way out if we keep in them. I don't recall coming through here before, but I know I must have kicked open that door. So... Nipa scrolled through my clips, and I have played Celeste, yes, but very little footage of it remains. That was a very hard game. I had to use the slowdown cheat to beat the last level. And even then, the last... Uh, the last, like, what do you call it? Screen, I guess you could say? The last screen still took me, like, days and days to beat. Nipaz beat it 100% legit. Ruben also beat it. That last level is a nightmare. Oh. Oh. These uh, chess pieces don't look like they want to play. Took me one two streams for like the last screen yeah these chess pieces do not seem happy to be here oh look he's doing the the wojack face can't really tell what that one's doing probably the same
this is like less a pool and more like a bath. They are all pawns. A game of chess that's nothing but pawns. Sounds tedious. So that was a bath, but this... Hmm. Oh, I'm a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping that this was a bottomless pit. I was kind of hoping, you know, it's a bathroom with like a bath and a death trap. Is this a death trap? Nope, just got black concrete on the bottom. They are all pawns, so it would be a short game with no kings. Oh yeah. Well, if there's no kings, then how can you end the game? Ah, here we go. It's very safe design to uh, make it a pitch black corridor with black uh, black walls and arts. Some sort of ships in a storm. Some child's drawing of a robber and, a, I guess, a cop chasing him. Another child's drawing of, like, a pirate or something. You end the game by starting. Ooh, that's neat. Skull and flowers. And a picture of the corridor we were just in, probably. Let's go sit in the nice chair. That ain't a robber, it's a monochromatic Waldo. I'm pretty sure that Waldo's got a bag with a money sign on it. Pretty universally the way that banks store their money, according to cartoons. Funny thing, it took an hour or something to finish the last room in the last chapter, and after I did it, I tried it again and did it in, in ten tries. The game is one of those where you usually get much, much better at a specific room when you have finished that room once. Well, I never want to play that room again. I was so done with Celeste when I was... When I beat it, I was like, I'm never playing this game again. Ever. It wasn't satisfaction. It was relief that I felt. Mostly black canvas? I think that's crab. I can't tell what it is. We're just going to call it a crab. More water. Uh, Long-tailed, light-skinned Garfield. And his larger clone. What did I play it on? I played it on Switch. Can I get in the big chair? No. Okay, cool. More little plastic lawn chairs in the water. It's more relaxing than you might think it is. Give it a try if you haven't. Um... Oh, it's drops. It's like uh, something went in the water, and now the water's rebounding, and there's little drops of water over top of it. Plus some sparkles. Nothing. It gives me the Escher Room vibes, but maybe it's a crow monster or something? The art continues, but now it's just whatever this is. Like a melting face? Could be a melting face. Ruben beat that last room at one in the morning. It was a good night. Oh, this is not going to be good for the paintings. I say, like, this whole place isn't incredibly humid. Didn't Banksy draw something like this? A 
Aw. See, this is your opportunity to put your super secret painting right here. And they didn't do it. I hear a train. Also, the walls are doing some Matrix stuff right now. Can we sit in the uncomfortable plastic chairs? Yes! That is ink from the painting. Okay, I don't know how it is played on console. I did it on PC and say it's easier on PC. It won't be on console, but the feathers are probably easier on console with a joystick. Yeah, I use D-pad for most movements, but feather I would switch to D to the uh, stick most of the time. I keep hearing trains go by, but I can't see them. Ghost trains that can just go over that bed that's sitting on the tracks. Painting. Singular. Oh. It doesn't matter what the image is supposed to be because we can still def we can define what is on the canvas as ink. Or paint. What is this? It is paint. What is it a painting of? Paint. Getting a little postmodern there. Or whatever the post postmodern thing is called. It's Pomo. It's weird for the sake of being weird. Ruben likes console war because he always holds climb. Yeah, I'm not good at using a keyboard to control video games. I like using my thumbs and my fingers and not just. Uh, not just my fingers, because I can't touch type very well either. It's horrible to use them in B and C sides only eight directions. It's usually so accurate movement. Are we talking about the feathers still? I don't think I... I did like a couple B sides, because you have to to get the last ending, but... Something just went splat. Where's the... Where are the stairs? Oh good, we can see again. I can uh, stream and not be in total darkness. Oh, this is nice. I stay like it. I say this is nice, but the first thought I have is this one area in the underground in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Where it's just this big underground spiral with a lot of water. Yeah, feathers are not fun with eight directions. I mean, technically the sticks also have only eight directions. If you use a joystick, analog stick, whatever, it's just... They detect a certain range of angles as, you know, diagonally left, diagonally down up, diagonally down right. And a certain range of angles is, you know, straight right, straight left, straight up, straight down. And especially when trying to dash precisely... The fact that those um, angles exist just makes it a little bit harder for me to control Madeline with the joysticks most of the time. Let's just assume that these are not going to open up underneath of me. What if I sprint? Can I outrun them? Can I outrun them? No. Aww. Can I go over here? I can. That was neat. Just the game automatically saying, no, stupid, you climb on the other side of this ladder. And now what? I think we've sat in one of those chairs before. But why not sit in the darkness for a second? 
took a little while for me to get used to using hold, grab, and jump because the whole button is so new thing first time playing. Which is probably why Ruben, and I probably did this myself, usually just held the grab the wall button. Just like when you're playing Mario and you hold run all the time until you have to get better at the game. Ruben did not like the seasides. Like, bashing agents... Bashing against a wall. Yeah. I don't think I played any of them. I didn't play any of them as far as I remember, and I don't really have any interest in it. <clears throat> okay. I like understanding games. I do not like having utter mastery of them. That level of effort, I feel like I can just do more things with my life. And, you know, unfortunately, towards the goal of uh, being special on the internet, wanting to do a lot of different things doesn't really help. You want to be the best at one thing if you want people on the internet to notice you. But, oh well, it's a little bit too late for that, so I'm just gonna enjoy learning and understanding lots and lots of different things, getting kinda good at them sometimes. Oh, uh, he meant hold, dash, and jump. Or climb, not hold. It's- I get the idea. We got the idea. Can do more things. Well, in this case, it's play more video games. And read comic books, and learn Japanese, and listen to Vocaloid songs, and go run, which I haven't done for several months, and I really should get back into it. How's the project? It's not. The project is not. I'm probably going to spend this weekend editing that fight with the crab boss instead of working on that project because they patched out the glitch that led to the funny spinny 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 bit. And so now... Think you're so tough because you're made out of marble. For example, I finished game plus core without grabbing. That's a challenge run. Good job. Congratulations. Those weren't here a second ago, right? Nipa tried all strawberries too. Yeah, I did some strawberries because they looked fun. I only did the strawberries that looked fun. I didn't try to get all of them. They are alive. They breathe. Like me. Yeah. Breathing statue. There is this little bit of inertia when you turn, when you change direction while running. Nope, Sonic the Hedgehog Spring. What, what, what? Oh. Oh. Hmm. I guess I better go for that door. What is happening? What is happening? Why can't I move? And it was all a dream that we were reading a book about to Freddy Savage. Nipa hated the challenge in chapter 4, 5, and 7. Well, I don't know. Don't remember enough of that. Hey, look, we beat the game. As much as falling on a table in a pool with a bunch of ominous statues behind us counts as beating the game. This is very loud. I don't remember which 
Celeste chapters are chapters uh, 4, 5, and 7. There was a point where I probably could have remembered, but I haven't really been into Celeste, even like speedrunning. Because there's a lot of games I don't like to play, but I do like to watch people speedrun them. Picture this, chapter 4, no grabbing, long room, strong wind towards you, and you are going right. I assume you learned how to uh, do the super dash jump really early on then, if you weren't grabbing. So now what? Now I just give this our level select. Well, that's the game. Spotify makes this less creepy, probably. Good horror games have... They pretty much need to have good sound design. I'd say this game definitely lived up to what I expected it to be, and that is someone made a game about my recurring nightmares being stuck in an interlocking series of tunnels with inexplicable pools. And it was kind of spooky. And there were water slides. I don't think I got anything else to say about it. Uh, so, that's going to be the end of the stream. I'll be back on Monday. Because there is a an extra work in Splatoon this weekend, but I don't want to play it. So I'll be back Monday. Bomb. That's going to get me, if I were monetized on YouTube, that would get me demonetized. Nipa learned hyper at core B or C, doesn't remember when it was forced to learn and super in farewell. Yeah, they do, like, I think it is core B where they just tell you you can super jump or wave dash or whatever. Anyway, y'all have a good weekend. Take care of yourselves. Uh, bye for now.